We've been walking through these jungles for several days, and there's none of the meat that you promised us. Hey, when a jungle springs up out of nowhere, you know there's meat to be found. The boys are getting hungry. We'd better find something soon. Ood blood. We have intruders again in our land. Boy, I think we found our meat. Go get them, boys. We play and call it work. Mini Wargaming's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWargaming.com. I'm Steve. And welcome back to another Age of Sigmar Battle Report. <laughs> We're going to be showing off the new Seraphin. Yeah, I'm, I'm, st I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Coleste again, if you saw our last video. I'm not ready to you know, try the summoning to Starborn. It's not, not mentally That's prepared like old for that. That's Seraphin, right? Well... you got to play with the flesh and blood ones, because, to be honest... My Ogre Ma tribe would be very disappointed. It's true. If they showed up, it's like, oh, there's some meat. And then they cut you in half and you go, Poof. Yeah. I narratively am playing the coalesced. Right. For the meat. Yeah, because I want because they wouldn't they, they would smell that you're there's something off. Or oh, these spirit like demons. So you, could you not eat the Starborn then? No, they disappear. <sighs> Just actually, actually, um, yeah. if you read oh, which book is it? It's the follow-up to the City of the Secrets one, or maybe it's the City of Secrets, Age of Sigmar novel. Oh, you read it a long time ago. Yes. At one point, uh, slight spoilers here, they do uh, go into an old temple, and Saurus and other Seraphim appear and start fighting them. And there's just endless numbers until they kill the... And they just, like, whiffs I think away. I think they find a slam that they find... Like, yeah, whenever they kill one, it just, it just disappears. That's so cool. Yeah, and, and they just keep recoalescing, and they don't know that, so they have to like hurry up and go and kill the... I think there, I think there's a slam. Well, not today. We're leaving corpses behind today. <laughs> yes, you're leaving corpses for us to eat, which is good. Although, mechanically speaking, your celestial demons would still fill my maw pot just fine. We're no longer celestial demons. Well, I mean, like, the old school celestial demons <laughs> okay. would still fill my maw pot. <laughs> That's so true. So as it, like, poofs away, they're just, like, gathering the dust. <laughs> it spices, all right? It counts. Celestial Spices. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're blabbering on here. We're going to be playing 2,000 points of, obviously, Ogre Ma Tribes versus Seraphim. Seraphim, yep. And uh, still trying out to see what the Seraphim can do. I'm just going to eat you. Well, no, that's my job. No, we actually, I, we kind of focus on that, too. Actually, we're focused yeah, well, on you, ha you have bites. And we're, I have, we're better at the chomp I have gulps, you have bites. It's true. But you're probably better at it than I am. Well, I don't know. I, mm, you have more of it. Okay, weirdly enough, I think... I like this matchup for me. I think the matchup is nice for me. Well, you the coalesce, they have just a flat up minus one damage, right? Yes. And my ogres so everywhere. Minimum of one. Minimum of one. Of course. And my ogres pretty much everywhere have two damage. That's like that's such a hard counter ogres. That's fine. It's fine. I chose it knowing that because I just wanted to play these ogres. And I know I've and I've, I've less got, of a mouthful for the ogres. I've, <laughs> I've got some tricks up my sleeve that's that uh, that I might be able to go in and just pound the crap out of them. But we'll see. We'll see. Dang. Let's just jump right into it and let's take a look at the armies. All right, here is the 2,000 point Lizardman force I'm putting together for today. Once again, we're going to play the Coalesce, so we have leadership eight across the board and we ignore one damage, as we've already said. Oh, and we ignore all modifiers to our bravery, which is actually pretty cool. We're going to have a Slan and an Astrolith Bearer. I'm going to try to remember that the Astrolith Bearer now has a bubble of ignore wounds on a six plus within 12 of him. It's a whole new ability. And the Slan will have the. Stellar Tempest spell as well added onto them. Over in Battle Line, we're going to try 15 Saurus Warriors, 20 Saurus Guard, and 10 Saurus Knights. Going to bring a single bullet of Basilodon for some you know, big old tank action, and then some Crocs for us to protect them. And then two characters to round off the list one Saurus Old Blood and one Scar Veteran. We're going to play Kotal's Claw today for a little sub-faction, our, our Constellation, which means my Scar Veteran here, the one with the yellow crest on the Carnosaur, will have a Relic Weapon that uh, sticks us to hit. We'll do two more wounds in addition to carrying on. And I have a Command Trait, the Dominant Predator on my Old Blood over here. What this Constellation does is makes me, my, well, actually makes my Source guys fight a little better on the charge in a Command Ability that makes them count as if they charged, if they didn't charge. So we'll see how that goes and I'll explain how it works when it comes up the first turn. Hopefully. And we have 2,000 points of Ogor Ma tribes. This will be the Underguts, which favor their lead belchers a little bit more and giving them an 18 inch range instead of 12 on their guns. We're going to be mixing also in some Beast Claw Raiders. We've got a Tyrant who will be my general, and he'll have the Underguts stratagem of our command trait, Massive Scars, which unfortunately won't be that great in here. It's minus one to 
wound when you're getting hit by shooting attacks. And then we have the Butcher, who will know the spell Molten Entrails, which gives a monster plus one damage on the mounts trait. So that'll help counteract the minus one damage that uh, Steve has army-wide. And then we've got two stone horns, one with a frost lord on top, and he's going to have the black clatter horn mount trait to give his, uh, his weapons basically extra to hit. His uh, horns will be plus one to hit, which is nice because they do a lot of damage, even with the minus one damage. And I also gave him the underguts artifact called the Noblar Blast Keg. So picture that he's got this big old barrel of gunpowder on his back. And once per game, I can toss it, nine inch range, and uh, you roll six dice, every six plus does D3 mortal wounds. But for every 10 models in the unit, you plus one to that. So if there's 10 models, five plus, 20 models, four plus does D3 mortal wounds, which would be nice. And we've got a Huskard on Stonehorn because he's cheaper, not because he's of any utility. The guy on top is just a means to an end to get the Stonehorn into combat because Huskards are, for some reason, they're not priests when they're on Stonehorns, they're only priests when they are on the Thunder Tusks. And then we've got all my feet on the ground, my boots on the ground, big, huge boots. Got a huge max squad of 12 of my gluttons with all of their weapons and upgrades. And not that the Bellowers are gonna matter because you ignore bravery modifiers. Then we got a little unit of three. And then we got all our lead belchers, two units of four, so that's their battle line, and then one unit of two. And of course, I've got my great mod pod for free. We're going to be playing Total Conquest from General's Handbook 2019. This one has four objectives, and you get a victory point for each one that you control at the end of your turn, but you get an additional victory point if your opponent controlled it right before you did. In other words, if you take it from them, it's worth more. Like watching these battle reports? Check out Steve and Vito playing Beasts of Chaos versus Blades of Corn in the Mini Wargaming Vault. Click the link below for your seven-day free trial. We both actually have nine drops. Normally, it's I don't true. show the die roll on camera because it usually doesn't matter. Because it's like, oh, I've got twelve, you got five. Before we roll off, we predetermine that I'm taking this side, you're taking that side. Because you just want to be lazy or? and only move your guys right there. Hundred percent. Well, maybe if I win the roll off, I'll take that side just to force you to play on the other side. I love doing well. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> I want to go home. Oh, I want this side. I'll jump first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have deployed back and forth, and as you can uh, guess, there's a nice long battle line. I've got my stone horns spread out. Lead belchers focus on one side, gluttons and the tyrant on the other side with my terrain feature and the butcher right in the middle. And then on the other side, we have Steve kind of spread out a similar way. Got the saurus everywhere, croxagors in the middle ready to go up with some of his shooting and slan. His big boss man is ready over here. I don't know why I was in here, the Jamaican accent. Uh, and then the other lizard on the other side. Now Steve finished deploying first, just barely. I did. Do you know who you want to go first? I don't, but I'm gonna let you go first. Thank so you don't know, but you want me to go first? I'm not positive this is the right call, but I think I want you to go first. Okay. Because of ranges. Ranges and double turns and charging, all sorts of stuff are good reasons for that. So let's go into Ogor Ma Tribes, turn one. In my hero phase, I'm going to use a command point to do the command ability Bully of the First Degree on this huge unit of gluttons. What that does is I do D3 mortal wounds to them as he hits them, hmm. and they are immune to battle shock for the rest of the game. Every time I use this ability, I roll three for my mortal wounds. Oh, Not this whoa, time. an improvement! <laughs> one mortal wound? You have four wounds you forgot. Right? Four. He okay. can't kill one with it, but it's always just like, ugh, come on. Kill one. <laughs> He's like, are you just, I think you hit a little hard there, buddy. And then I will attempt to cast Molten Entrails onto my Frost Lord to give his uh, monster, well, specifically the mount, plus one damage to all his weapons. Needs a seven, but because I'm near the Moth Pot, I get plus one. You didn't stop it. Okay? I did not. I got I nine, not. you got, you get plus one. I got plus one. So you get six. So heads up, uh, just for those who don't know, I can uh, unbind and dispel the entire table. Range doesn't matter for me. Oh, wow. Cool. Simple hero phase for this army, so we're going to jump right into the movement phase. Pretty uh, straightforward. I'm not going to get quite too greedy yet. I'm not going to just stand still, but I, I want to just reposition. Sure. Sorry, I forgot one thing. Whenever he casts a spell, on a 2+, plus, he heals. On a 1, he takes a moral wound. He's fine. This is my after, just putting up a screen of gluttons. Don't want to get too close. If Steve makes a super long charge, he makes a super long charge. I know he's got the knights that could pop. They can move up. They, they can make the charge, but then they'll be in there by themselves and I should be able to punch them to death. 
on the other side, same idea, just kind of lining the lead belchers, keeping my stone horns behind because they do so much damage on the charge. I'd hate to lose that while making sure they stay in the bubble of the butcher and the tyrant. And the, uh, just so you know, all these heroes are more than three inches away from the front line, so they don't get involved in the fight. As much as they would love to get involved in the fight, the charge. the charge is just so good. They get extra damage, they do mortal wounds, so it's just so much better for them to just, just to ease off a little bit. And I just do, I do have one thing. This blood monster goes, <laughs> and it flies over here, and on a two plus will kill one of those warriors that does one mortal wound. <laughs> okay, you know what? I just don't have anything, all right? I should have stuck with my original plan of just not doing anything, all right? <laughs> okay, well, he didn't move up as much as I wanted him to, but I am going to get aggressive and hope for a double turn. Either way, I'm going to clear some charges and try to fight all these fatties. So at the start of my hero phase, I pick a contemplation. I'm gonna go with the uh, the hunter steed. Give me plus one to run and charge for everything in my army. So just till next hero phase. And this this land, he can see the future. So he's gonna roll two dice, and every four plus gains a command point. So up to three. Whoa! That's just, really? You got that now. This is the ability. My slant is going to use his command ability on the Source Warriors called Gift from the Heavens. It's going to give them the ability to fly and add one to their saves from shooting. It's time to start casting spells. The first thing we're going to do is Comet's Call. It's a seven to cast, and we have uh, eight. You get plus two? Plus two. What is plus one for slant. So if I pick D3 units on the table, and they take D3 mortal wounds. If I had rolled a 10 or higher, it would have been D6 units take D3 mortal wounds. So D3 units take D3 mortal yeah. wounds. So on average, you're doing four mortal wounds. That's worth stopping. And I get a plus one to unbind, so I have to roll a seven naturally. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, no, you got plus two. I got plus so two. Eight, I, so I got to roll an yeah, eight yeah, naturally, yeah. which I definitely don't. Ooh. How many units? Let's find out. Two. two. I, characters? You uh, heal, well, right? this thing can heal everything within 36 inches. It'll only be like once in the game because you're not going to have things near it. So basically, he uses it, and okay. everything within 36 inches heals D3 move. And the stone horns are no damage on five. That's correct. Whether it's mortal wounds or wounds. Okay, well, I'm going to hit that guy for sure. The stone horn? And then let's hit... Uh... Oh, man, I don't even know. Let's hit uh, Let's hit him. Him? The tyrant? Yeah, that's over characters. So D3 on him. So two mortal wounds. And what are you going to my tyrant? I can't see. Three. Ooh, three mortal wounds. Nice. I ignore these mortal wounds on a five. Oh, I ignore oh, both okay. of them. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tyrant is down to five wounds. We are then going to Mystic Shield. I think it's going to go on the Saurus Guard. You got it. Plus so two. Oh, yeah, roll one that. to save. And then finally, I guess we're going to Smite. You mean Arcane Bolt? Oh, you know what? Uh, Arcane Bolt, sorry. It's the same. Not quite. Uh, yeah, What's Arcane that? Bolt is better than the spell I took. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah. Okay, I'll Arcane Bolt. And you get plus six to your range? Yes, sir. For my actual... Oh, that's, Ooh, D6. that's 11. Oh, D3. 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 Which is the unit that you're going to target? Uh, I guess for... I don't even... Uh, you know what? Maybe we can kill one. Yeah, you might finish him off because... No. no. One mortal wound. Nice try. Well, I think I'm going to go for some long bomb charges. So we're just going to move on forward. And then uh, if it fails, we always have the backup of the double turn. Hopefully. <laughs> and you do have plus one run and charge right now. True. So that's that's true. I don't think anybody's going to run, though. So everything kind of surged on forward. Now the Temple Guard and the Sora's Warriors had to run. Nothing else ran. I'm hoping to get some charges off. You're getting somewhat close to the Lead Belchers. Sora's Knights is like a 7-inch charge with the reroll. Yeah. So I should be okay. Time to shoot. We're off with my Sun Gauntlet. We're going to go after these ogres here. The sun Gauntlet? Yeah. Is it's, it an Infinity Gauntlet? No, it's just it's like... It's going... He, he has little, little, little zaps of light. It's not that bad. Like this? Yeah. It's a little, little zaps Like this or like more like this? Well, no, it's like he... Does he make like a... It's like... Oh no, finger guns. Bizarre. Bizarre. D6 shots. Ooh. Han threes and fours. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's You're right. It's, it was it just, wasn't, yeah. it's just a flashlight, isn't it? It is. It's He's just like, <laughs> get him in the eye. It's a laser pointer. Yeah. But still, the Han's going to try to take out some shooters over here. So we actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the right call. Right is one. that the right call? Yeah. We're hitting sure? on. We have nine attacks now. That's Hit. a 2d6. We're hitting on fours. Ooh. Oh, those are threes. Threes to wound. Oh, with oh, a come rent. on, man. Minus one rent. One rent. Yep. Well, at two damage apiece, if I don't roll at least one six save, then you will kill one. Yep, you killed one. I don't think it really matters at this point which one it is, so I'll just make sure we keep him guarded. Time to declare a charge. We're going with the Scar Veteran. I'm going to use a command point. To reroll. What does he need? I think he needs a 10. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he needs... Oh, no, you got plus one run in charge. Oh, that's right. You needed a 10. You got it. Does he do anything on the charge, like mortal wounds? No. No, we just... We Does just, he better we, on the charge? He get pluses to anything? 
Well, because we are uh, Kodal's Claw, we're plus one to hit. That's right, because he's a Saurus yeah. keyword. Yeah. And it's time to run the so sorry, charge the Saurus Knights. Need a seven. Oh, when they get okay. plus one, they got a nine. I think I'm going to go after the little unit and try to... I wonder if... No, I am... Mm, mm, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna just get within three of them. Just to pull them in. Yeah. Because they have a good charge. They're the ones... Because they have at least eight models, they will do four plus mortal wounds on the charge. I'd rather take the hits. Look at them just coming like in. Cheeky, cheeky little bums. Where I do you want to start? I decided to abandon the Scar and we're going to fight over here. Yeah, that's not much of a threat. We are not going to get within three of them. You don't want to get close, but you can stop his charge. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then no, he'll no, murder you. No, 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 no. Because he does have the plus one damage on right now. No, 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 no. That's probably wise. That is the frost. If this is the husker, I would consider it. So this is just the spears. Hitting on threes because... Oh, actually, I was going to spend a command point. But I guess now we're not. Uh, <laughs> hitting on threes because we're plus one to hit from the... Um, from the charge. And Kodal from, for being the, my, my From your constellation. And threes to wound. And now because you charge, these are plus one damage as being spears. So these are two damage each. No rend though, so I get my hefty, hefty five up save. And you just did eight damage. That kills two of them right off the bat. And now the snapping jaws from the mounts hitting on twos and fours. And these are only one damage each, but you only have four more wounds to eat through. This should easily finish them off. Yeah, he's dead. You weren't even done. You still had your jaws from your. I had from the riders. 18 more attacks, fours and fours. Nice. Well, ouch is all I got to say. I'm going to switch over and have the lead belchers. We're just going to pile on in and make sure they all get in. And then we're going to whack you with our gun butts and gulp you with our mouths. Start with my bludgeoning blows. Threes to hit. <laughs> Threes to wound. <laughs> Now, these are minus one, but they're normally two damage, which you reduce to one. Huh? Yeah, Skelly Skin is amazing. I have a four-up save to a five-up. I take a wound. Oh, you do take a wound. I do take a wound. Look at that. And then I got my gulping bites, which will be threes to hit and threes to wound. No rend one damage. Wow. Ooh, four. Ooh. Ah, I did two damage. One more would have bracketed you. And now you get to destroy them, probably? Oh, buddy. Yeah, because that plus one to hit works for your mount as well. Ugh. So the source scarf, we're going to start off with a massive draws. There's at least three attacks on his profile, but because we're coalesced, we have four attacks. And no hitting off fours, but because we're playing coalesced claw, threes because we charged. Ha! Oh, that's too bad. And threes. Wow! You keep telling me this guy's so good. <laughs> I think he just should bring Saurus Knight. Okay, that was a, that could have done 20 damage. I know, right? <laughs> we're going to show you War Spear. Uh, hitting on twos. Maybe that could do something? Uh, I wonder if it's unmodified. It is unmodified. unmodified. I haven't seen anything for a while that's just anything that gets modified will work. Th threes to wound. What's the random damage on this? No rend. And? Uh, one damage. Oh. Okay. Five up. You do one damage. McLeod Fold hitting on twos. Yay. And wounding on threes. Hey, that's something. Rend uh, damage. There's no rend. Two damage. Okay, five up. That's that's four damage. That's five total. What about, is there a bite on your guy on the top? No. We can't bite you from up top. You're too far too away. Far you know, that would be awkward. Yeah, we'll yeah. fall off. It should be like a bite, but it's like six to hit. Well, I mean, the 20 damage from the massive draw should did the bite work. You still, you know what? With as crappy as it was, you still killed one. Oh, wait. Uh, the spear does two damage on the charge. I forgot. Okay. That just means you did six damage in total. So we kill one, and one of them takes wounds. That, that wasn't great. Is that all you got? That, uh, it's all I got. You just bring Saurus Knights. I, right? I, well, okay, those jaws... That's four ones. Okay, Steve. <laughs> Steve. Yeah. I've, I've always liked monsters in this game. And when I see anything that has lots of damage, that's threes and threes, I'm like, that's garbage. It's, I know, it doesn't work. <laughs> it just it never works. It doesn't work. You need or my three. hero with four attacks that are four damage each and they're threes and threes minus three rend. I play no. Mystic Castle, I'm very aware. Yeah, you just, yeah, exactly. It doesn't work. I do three if damage I have, per swing, oh, I know hits. Yeah, exactly. If I if it's twos and twos re-rolling everything, then maybe I stand a chance to hit something. Or if it's a million skeletons with fives and fives, then it'll do tons of damage. But don't ask my monster. Not now with threes and threes. No, because the funny thing is my stone horns are pretty much the same idea. And so maybe maybe I'll eat those words and see them do tons Honestly, of damage. Honestly, maybe I just double turn you and then... Uh, hey, we're not done yet. I still get to hit you back. With what? You engage them. Oh, yeah, you get two. So with a three-inch pylon, I can actually get three of them to fight you. I don't you. think that's possible. Well, actually, no, because the, yeah, the one will get in the way. They're all within range to get there. Well, you know what? With the wall. Yeah, I'll send my... Better leader. fighter? Yeah, he's the leader. So. That makes sense. And then we'll just kind of make sure we maintain our coherency. You know what? 
You want to bring us closer? We're coming closer. Okay? That's what I want. You asked for it. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You're gonna if you double turn, you'll have plenty of money. I know, to get up I today. know, I know. <laughs> so we're good, we're good. Even though you reduce my damage to one, I gotta roll them separate from the gulping bites, because sixes on these ones do two hits. So threes to hit. See? I made up for that one. Throw in my gulping bites. Threes. Everything's winning on threes! Oh, see, told you. Threes and threes just don't get you anywhere. Four of them. No, no rent. Four save! Hey, I killed one! Yeah, Woo! Um, I think I want to keep... I'll just kill this guy. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If you double turn me, you're getting in, and if you're not, well, then I'm charging you. End of the turn. You did not take this objective as much as you have all these guys around. With Ogre Ma Tribes, monsters count as 10, and everybody else counts as 2. So I've easily got 16 here, maybe even two more. And you've got no more than the 9 that are... I don't even think I have that many, but... Oh, I, yeah, I don't you, might, I do. you might have nine. Let's just say you have nine, but he alone... It's enough, yeah. He's just like, no! And he plants those big, huge hooves. Yeah. And he holds out the spear and says, this is my objective. Or, That's where he'll stay. I don't know, it's a pile of bones or something <laughs> that he wants to throw into the spear. So now we roll, and I would like you not to get the double turn. Let's because... Think, well, hold on, I just, I just keep really, it. I just, yeah. just want to really go right now, because... Because <laughs> uh, now I could part the way, get the charge, get the charge. You did tie up this, which is great. Because on the charge, they have enough models to do four plus mortal wounds as well. Also, I'd like to throw his his keg. Although, you've done a good job of keeping me away from them, which is who I really want to throw it at, because it works better against larger units. Also, it'll give me a chance. I would I will definitely use my healing this turn. Well, I now know I'm going for sure first. Because well, Matthew spent a lot of time explaining, which means the not, dice is not going to go away. But I win ties. It's true. So, you rolled a five. Yes! Okay, you got lucky. You started explaining a lot. I know. When you explained your plan for more than four seconds, the dice well, I don't know. I did, there was one game I did a <laughs> ten-step plan, and I actually pulled it all off. Oh, really? So, all the way to step ten? Yeah, and then what? there was that one Blood Bowl game where I had a ten-step plan, which started with a two-plus rerollable, and it failed right at the beginning. I was there. It's, it like, happened like ten times for that Blood Bowl League. New, new Blood Bowl <sighs> League coming soon, by the way. Ooh. We, I'm like, ooh, you know this. I'm not ooh. telling you. I'm telling the audience. We're You're like, see, ooh. The brawling Bubblekin Brawlers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The Halflings, and I'll be playing, actually, I'll be playing the Lizards. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm playing the Seraphim. Oh, sorry, Lizardmen. I'm going to break all your share of index. Yeah, you probably will. Give you a little... <laughs> you're going to break my ankles, let's just face it. You're not and then when you're on the ground, then I go for the neck. <laughs> all right, it's my turn. Hero phase. We're going to start by casting a spell before I do the healing, just in case he hurts himself with the spell. I'm going to do the same thing. Molten entrails onto... Uh, it might be overkill over here. It helps, it helps the creature get more damage. And I think... You know what? I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to roll it first. I might be overthinking this. I get plus one to cast. I need a seven. I didn't even get it, so nobody gets it. All right? <laughs> nobody gets it. Right. And because this is probably going to be my only chance before you start killing everybody, I'm going to try to heal everybody. So once per game, I can empty this. And every unit wholly within 36 inches, which is everybody, heals yep. D3. So I just need to roll two on this one. Yeah, he's back to full. Three would be nice on my big guy. No, he only gets one. And over here, I'm down two wounds. He's back to full. Now, is that worth it? I don't know. It's it's one of those things where if you wait too long, it just becomes inconsequential. I would have used it now. I think. Yeah. It would, like if you had, it, it would have been more like an, uh, a screw you to Steve if you had managed to do a mortal wound. Absolutely. On them. Well, like if that that spell that you did is like D three mortal wounds each thing. I'm I'm thinking, so not a big deal because you spread out damage and I just go. And as much as you want to save it. I'm also trying to do more wounds until you use it early. But there's, there's no good. You know, you have a good matchup for using. What it my my other list with this is, I actually bring the Dracoline Heart, which is an artifact where he can refill it. Oh, okay. But I wanted to bring the Underguts, and I didn't have a War Scroll Battalion, so I can't bring a second artifact. Sure. Because the Underguts gives me the Lead Belchers having a longer range. I just felt like I, I've never really done a lot of Underguts, so. What's the range of your Lead Belchers then? Normally twelve. So oh, 18. I thought it was normally 18. So now okay. they can, these guys might be able to stand still, because when they stand still, they do D6 shots instead of D3. Yeah. So I wanted to try that. Really, what I need to do is get more lead belchers, because I'd love to do an army of nothing but lead belchers <laughs> and do the Gross. underguts. Gross. Because they're actually just better than gluttons, and they're the same points cost. So Movement's going to be pretty straightforward. I'm just going to get just outside of three inches. We're going to take care of these knights. Tyrant doesn't have much to do. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to measure this. I was just going to push him up there, but then I realized... He might be able to make a long bomb charge. Ooh. And he does move eight inches when he's hungry. It's true. They're fast. As much as I'd prefer to hold still with these guys so they get the D6 shots instead of uh, D3, I'm going to actually move in. them out of the way. I'll, I'll sacrifice a little bit because he gets to move 14. So essentially he's just going to end 
we're going to ward three inches away. So let's go your left to my right for shooting. We'll start with the lead belchers. Actually, sorry, the blood belcher has to happen at the start of the shooting phase. True. So I choose a unit two plus that doesn't mortal wound. I'm actually going to choose this guy. I'd like to start to, to get him down. Just seeing as how you didn't one-shot all those lead belchers. So yeah, Ooh. mortal wound to him. Down to nine. Doesn't ignore mortal wounds. I think that brackets him a little bit. Next up, uh, my husk guard is going to use the command ability that's unique to the underguts called Thunder Salvo. All lead belchers wholly within 12, which they all are, will get plus one attacks. We'll start with these three. Now, they didn't move, so they'll get D6 plus one each. Number of attacks? Ah, piddly, but that's still okay. Fours to hit. Threes to wound. See, Steve? Fours and threes are better than threes and threes. Five up! Oh, Ooh, four, four damage. Mm, down to five already. Get on there. These two will fire at him as well. 2D6 plus two attacks. Nice. Oh. Almost the same number. Fours to hit. C fours is reliable. Fours not threes. <laughs> threes to wound. Okay, that's okay. pretty good. Five, Five again. Oh, Three he's got more. two wounds left. My tyrant has his Ogor pistols, which he'll fire at your source knights. No. Okay, fine. Why? 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 No. I don't want to. You just don't want. Me. Oh, it's okay. This he's not going to hurt you. Fours to hit. Okay. What are you wounding on? Uh, threes. Oh. Why? Oh. What? I'm what? like, do you have some sort of modifier you no, want to I'm tell just, me about? I'm just curious for the stats. <laughs> okay, fine. I did forget about these three lead belchers. There's a hole that you might not be hard to see with the camera, but they can, they can clearly see through there at your Carnosaur. And that extra range is what, this, this guy is 17 inches away. So <sighs> thanks to being the underguts, they can do this. They did move to let my Frost Lord, or my Husk Guard through. So it's D3 attacks each, but plus one. Oh, oh golly. Wow. That is 12 attacks. Fours to hit. Oh, oh, oh. Super tactics for Age of Sigmar. Just ignore anything that does threes to hit. Just go for the fours. Threes to wound. Uh, he's probably dead. Oh, uh, five? Yeah. He dies. He dies. I got him. Oh, wow. That was pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'd, I'd love to see. Imagine this was all lead belchers. Same number of lead belchers. Can, uh, you, just, can you picture that? Gross. That would be gross. Just how much damage they well, can Well, shooting Age of Sigmar, if you skew into it, it's going to be a thing, right? It's always been. I know, I just, when I look, you, when you just look at the lead belcher stats, it doesn't stand out as being particularly impressive. And every time I've played them, I've only ever brought like two or four, and so it's just like, oh, I don't really do anything. But when it, all of a sudden you start you to... tons of them, and then you have the extra range. Well, the underguts yeah. giving the extra range, and then the command ability give that extra number of hits. I, that, that probably made all the difference, because that was basically eight extra shots. I overkilled you by three wounds, so that probably killed you then, if you really look at it. Charge phase, we're going to start with my Frost Lord. Give me a nice high number. I only need three. Go! Oh, the reason that's good is because that's how many dice I get to roll to see how many mortal wounds I do. We're just going to go straight in. I'm actually going to go over here to leave more room for my tyrant to get in. So now I roll 11 dice for their, their charge thingy for Ogre Mod Tribes. Each four plus does a mortal wound because he's a monster. Oh boy. I'm going to reroll this one. It's kind of cocked. And I think that was a four. It there was, and now it is. Straight four of them die. Oh! Because of how super effective that was, I'm not going to even attempt to charge the Tyrant in. Because uh, if I charge in and do tons of mortal wounds, you can pull them away from the Huskard. And also, because you're so far away from the Huskard, you can't really threaten him. Which means, over here, when I charge with the Huskard, sorry, the Stonehorn, Huskard on Stonehorn, I can go with him first in combat and not worry about the other one. And that will charge six inches, which I'm going to use to go and claim that objective. And he rolled six for the charge. Each four plus is a mortal wound, so three of them die. Mm, you learn cold from here now. You don't need to be here anymore. Did they get any bonuses when they're in large squads? They get plus one attack uh, when there's 15 or more models. Okay, so we've got to get them a little further. I'm going to try to charge with these lead belchers. They're going to need 11 to get in there, but if they do, they can kind of support the Huskard. No, no. These lead belchers, however, are only a nine inch charge. It would be nice to kind of put them right here, just so you can't surround my Huskard. Ah, they fail. At the start of the combat phase, I'm going to use my Codal Command ability to give them plus one to hit. And because he's doing it on a four plus, I gain a command point. So then he's going to use that new command point to give them plus one to hit from the Codal Command ability. Actually, no. Sorry. He's going to use his personal so command ability. The one that you're doing is that they count as charging. Yes. Which and then when Codal charges, they get plus one They get one plus to hit. one. So it's not giving them plus one to hit necessarily, but it does yeah. give them the same thing. Uh, that he's going to use his, his personal command ability that gives them plus one to hit. Uh, but because he's using a command ability on a four plus, he'll yeah, that's his command, command point, trait. and then he'll use the new <laughs> command point to give them plus one to hit. Basically, now, the hold are, they, are they holding within twenty four inches? Uh, I would 
Let's check. You want me to check? That guy's might be. I think so. Let's check. Let's but my eye's not check. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna well, say he's see. here. I'm gonna say he's not in. Twenty-four. One model. Yep. Yeah, it's unfortunate. One more. Never mind. I have a command point though. Yeah. <laughs> I was just crazy. I wasn't expecting to do any damage over here anyway. <laughs> Wait, first over here? Yeah, I'm going to start with the uh, Husker because then what I can do is I can pile in like this to get less of you on me. And like I said before, because of how much I killed the other Stonehorn, I'm not as worried. So he'll fight. <laughs> Six attacks from my rock hard horns. And uh, so these do normally three damage. They do four damage on the charge, which you just bring back to three. Because my scaly skin. Because your scaly skin. But uh, these are fours and threes, which you would think, oh, that makes them super efficient. And you were probably maybe right or wrong. We'll see. <laughs> So far, we've been uh, very average. Oh, no, a little above average. Friend? Minus two. Six so. So that is nine damage. Ooh. Well, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You don't care about bravery. Nine. Hey, you get no modifiers to your bravery. Well, that would modify yours, but you don't care either. Nah, okay. Then I got my crushing hoof attacks. Hoof attacks. D3 attacks. Woohoo! So these are threes and twos, so naturally I won't get any. Oh, wow. Okay. See, I'm using reverse psychology on my dice. Any yeah. run? Uh, minus one, so five up. And it's D3 plus one. So just D3. So D3. Two more dice. Yoink. Wow. And, and then my Huskard, yeah, my Huskard is going to throw a hissy fit and punch and kick you. Threes to hit. You ready, ready for how powerful this is? Fours to wound. And they are no rend one damage. I'm going to go pile in my Saurus. You might as well. I'm going to give you more attacks. Oh. Um, Oh. But I think it's fine. I think it's, I think it's worth it. They're I probably to, dead anyway, so I, you well, might as well do exactly. some damage. Exactly. I need to, need to hurt you. Yeah. Well, this guy's actually slightly closer to him, so I can't move away from him. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I am more than four inches away from you, but all your attacks, well, all your good attacks are four, four, you're going to hit me. They're, anyway. two, they're pretty much everything is two inches. Only three can punch Fun you. fact, I just discovered this. The Husker with the Frost Lord has two inch reach on his crushing hooves. Well, that's... And one inch on the It's different. Husker. different mo his, his monster is a more veteran. I have the same thing with my Scar Veteran. It's just weird that the ranges are different. Ranges, I know, I know. Normally it's of attacks or, the, or to hit better or whatever, That's right? That's strange. That's strange. So we're going to start off with their spears. Uh, hitting on t ones, but oh, four ones always miss. And a threes to wound. Uh, now, yeah. the count is charging that's only two. for the purposes of the extra attack, is what it says on the thing. Oh, what it says? So it doesn't say that. Yeah, that's fair. It actually does say for the purposes of, uh, what's it called? Uh, savagery Incarnate. So, so it yeah, would be extra. It gives them the extra attack, but it won't count their spears as having charge, which is too bad. I wish it just said they count as charge. Hey, I'll take the plus one hit. But it, it's just to be neat because then if you could find some spell that did something on the charge, then you could find some other cool combos. Actually, but it's fine. I have no rend. I'm going to do all my attacks. You owe me two saves so far. Okay. Powerful Jaws are plus two to hit, so hitting on threes, oh, and fours. And then finally, Snapping Jaws are going to be hitting on twos, and then fours. Okay. Five more. Oh, nice. Eight damage total. Fives to save. Oh, <laughs> you kill one. That's true. I'll take the one death. Which one's going to go? You know this one, because yeah. there's a different color scheme than the rest. <laughs> which and, one of you wants to beat me up? Well, I gotta do him because if I attack with them, you can kill a couple. Oh, and, yeah, that's true. So he's just gonna pile in and beat the living snot out of you. That's right, your snot is living. And I'm gonna beat it out of you. So the black clatter horn upgrade is that I get plus one to hit with his rock hard horn. So he's got six attacks hitting on threes. Okay. I don't roll any threes. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. I rolled well. Threes to wound. Nah, still not gonna complain. Friend? Minus two. Ooh, six to save. And those are going to be three damage each. Down that's, to two? No, from four down to three. So that's Six nine. Damage. Yeah, yeah that's nine damage. nine damage. So all but one. Um, just hold on. I'm about to, I'll just finish them off. That's true. We'll do his crushing hooves. Well, only one attack. I don't know. This might not finish you off. Threes and twos. Okay, minus one. And you're dead. Okay, that's all of them. Well, goodbye. Well, that means my guys don't get to pile in. So we'll just pile in with these... Unfortunately, on 32 mil bases, are those spears two inch reach? They or? are. Okay, well, that's good at least. This guy, he'll slide in. This guy will get in there. But you're good, you're good. Spears hit on fours. Wound on threes. Mm. And then jaws. Oh, they're, they're okay. on fives or fours? Fives and fours. Two. two. Three damage in, or three wounds in total that I four up save. And then. I'll re-roll no, uh, no, no, that was a four. A four. I'm not okay. taking your pity. Okay, okay. That's you not damage pity, on man. five. But what? that was the die you rolled for ignore damage on five. Okay. Fair. <laughs> so I didn't ignore the damage. But the other one... 
<laughs> I won't take your pity, but it's still gonna hurt you, man! But Matthew, Matthew, you only failed one. And they only you failed, failed the five to death, yeah. Oh, I did! <laughs> Okay. Down to, um, down to 11. Down to 11. I lost uh, 15 models. But you don't have any bravery modifiers, which wouldn't matter. <laughs> oh, they're all gone. They're all dead. <laughs> you could have inspired presents, then. No, I oh, can't. Oh, you're out of range. They're all over there. Oh, golly. The stone hearts okay. are just too good, man. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm going to see if I can make a Beast Claw Raider list work. I actually have four Thunder Tusk guys now. I had them painted up. And I want to see if you can actually make Thunder Tusks work, because they're so awful. But so, it's like, it's like, here's Thunder Tusks. And here's Stone Horns. It's like, <laughs> give me a Thunder Horn. <laughs> or a Stone you watch, Tusk. Watch. Okay, so my, my plan to win this game is twofold. Is it double turn? No, actually, actually it's threefold. Because I just got three points, or I just got four points. Because Because the original plan was, the twofold plan was, I'm going to Move charge and everything. Turn. And that one whiffs. And double turn. That's a two full plan. Yeah. So you, but you, I really your is actually plan is that I whiff my dice rolls. No, I actually really just is a three three full plan because he has to whiff, I have to double turn, and he has to not whiff. Okay, he has to kill that one. Yeah, and your other guy whiffed, and then those lead belchers. That whiff actually is costing you because those lead belchers. You only killed one of them, and I healed the other one, and you could have easily killed off the last. If guy. you had killed off four. Then I would probably wouldn't have even have focused on him. I probably would have shot all my shots into the Saurus hey, Warriors, we, thinking that the Husker we played dust, d dust game. We played dice games, dude. It's how it goes. How I know, happens. I know. It's just, it's but just, you can see there's certain points of the game where things. Now start. I know I can rely on the dice to go my way this turn. Here come the reckoning. Right, and I rolled really well. Here come the reckoning. All right, in the hero phase, I'm going with the Great Drake for this guy. I'm picking my new constellation or contemplation. Uh, he gets plus one to all his attack. No, sorry, plus one attacks all his weapons. This is the turn. This is the turn. And it's everything. The mount and the yes. guy on top. It's the so hero. It just says I the pick hero, a hero and the hero gets it. Yes. And only command traits and artifacts specify that they don't affect the mount. I'm going to eat you. I'm just going to tear them all up. You're just going to do it. You're going to do it, man. I'm going to do. And then I'm going to roll two dice because I can see points. the future. I gain one more. Uh, you're seeing less of the future. Uh, I'm seeing this looking grim. Very grim. <laughs> it's grim. It's grim. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> now it's time to call the comet. What do you need for that? I need a seven, but I rolled a nine. nine. I'm just going to borrow your dice and try to unbind that. This is the D3, D3 mortal wounds. D3, D3. I unbind it. Not cool. Not cool? Not cool. Sorry, I thought you were constipated there for a second. Not cool. Arcane bolt. Just do it, man. Plus two. Oh, that's you enough. Got it. You got it. One mortal wound uh, to whom? When is he bracket? I'll double check. I am going to give it to him. Well, maybe. You know our damage is a five plus? I do. Yeah. Well, not just damage, wounds and mortal wounds. Five plus, nope. Okay, okay. Do one more and you'll bracket them. And then finally, we're gonna go with a Stellar Tempest. It is an eight to cast. You got an eight, so I got an eight. A plus two. So what does that one I do? I pick eight within 24 and I roll die for every model in the unit and a five plus take a mortal wound. Oh, nice, because that has a lot. I'm assuming you're gonna choose the big unit? Yeah. There's 11 guys there. Every five plus is a mortal wound. Oh. And that does one, wait two, second, three, second, four wait mortal wait wounds. Wait a second, wait a second. Do sixes do anything? No, that's something else. That's something else. Okay. Yeah. So you killed one. Right, like perfectly killed one. You. Okay, we're gonna go. You got, you got, you got this. Go Actually, kill that. Go kill that Husker. I'll take that spot. Actually, he's gonna go this way. You get it. You're there. Well, it matters. I got everything in. Yeah, I killed a guy. Come on up. Now, what did, did you choose? Oh no, you did choose your bonus, and it was that he gets buffs. So no plus one to charge. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's gonna move first. This, he, he has fly, right? No. I thought you said he had fly. No, I could, I could give somebody fly. Oh, that's right. There's a command ability to give him fly. So we keep sending everybody all forward. Yeah, it's going to be tough because right now I control three of the objectives, which means that you can get a lot of points by taking them from me. But that one's pretty deep in my territory. You could take that one. This one will be a bit of a challenge because you got to get rid of the Husker because he counts as 10 guys. Well, we're right to shoot and we're shot with the Bastille on and we got to bracket this guy. Hitting on? Fours. Oh. oh. You got a little more than half. Threes. Hey, that's like my guns. Minus one. Minus one rand means I got a five up save, which I fail all. Those are two damage apiece. Oh, being a good old stone horn, I ignore damage or wounds and mortal wounds on a five plus. I only ignore one. That was five damage. You nerfed him. We're also going to throw javelins at him. From whom? Him. We missed. Hit off fives. Oh, this is the little skinks? Yeah. <laughs> We are gonna shoot over here. Oh, the god! Um, don't bother, man. It was pretty I'm, bad. I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna eat all them. You know what? I'll just shoot at them. I'll just shoot just at them. Just make sure. Yeah, I gotta get a double turn. 
What's that? Is that the number of shots? Oh, shots. maybe they could do something. On threes. Oh, throw, is that four in? Uh, get in my hand. Uh, two. Oh, is it four Wait, two two two? I can't remember. So two of them. Any rend? No rend. So five up. And I have a lookout nobbler, so I ignore damage. Is there one damage each? One damage each. I ignore it on a six, because he's like, Oh, my God, for the, the light from his comment. And they try to dodge the light. And they almost do. Almost dodge the yeah, light. Yeah, they almost dodge the light. Uh, I'll use your pointer. I don't really care about bellowers because I can't modify your bravery. So sure. You're going to take the damage. Time to charge. You can oh, do it. Blood. Six inches. I want to make sure I'm not within three of your duder. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to engage him? No. You want to kill them, double turn and kill him? I have to. If you do that, you win. I know. I know. I love making on the double turn. It's the best part of the game. <laughs> it's your favorite part. We have endless discussions, and Steve is always like, I love the random turn mechanic. And I'm always like, dude, it just doesn't belong in the game. And Steve's just like, dude, it's such a good part of the game. You can't remove it. And I say, dude, 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 dude. I'll leave right now. <laughs> we'll send you to the temple guard. Or yes, you will. guard. Yes, you will. That's 11 inches. So these are the better ones, right? Yes. So they're the two attacks each rather than one. Plus extra stuff because they just charged. But only one inch reach. So, you know. Croxagore, go charge! Yes, they are. Uh, we're go, go, Croxagore. Go, go, Croxagore. Go, go, Croxagore. Go, go, Croxagore. Uh, trying to leave room for him? Yeah. So I'll just roll the die. Seven, Seven? maybe? Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Okay. Easy. Easy. Oh, not room for the model. You moved him. He can't get in. I'm just joking. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> you, oh, is he going to do that? <laughs> that he's not wrong for doing it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I know, but you don't try to do it. Yeah. I know. You, you declared it beforehand. I'm leaving space for him. But you saw, I saw the nudge. I, know, I, know. I saw the like, nudge. Oh, crap, the camera's on. You saw the nudge. <laughs> okay, so, oh, actually, you have seven more wounds, or less than seven wounds. So I actually don't have to do any pluses to hit. For him. What about them? They are all sitting on twos. Will they get that roll too? They're sores. And he's charged. Oh, they normally hit on threes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are the I have ones. two more ways of adding plus to hit, and I don't need you it. You don't need it, no. All right, he doesn't do all out attack, though. On four plus, you get it back. So now he's all out attack, and you want to try it again? I, there's no reason not to. Yeah, right? Four plus, you get it back. Oh, goodness. You are rolling those four pluses. They're too far. Yeah, they're too far, and that's not a hero, so. But everybody here is rolling on twos, re rolling. Goodbye, gluttons. I wish you had the uh, the fists now to do the mortal wounds back on sixes. I'll spend my last command point on the Husker, and he'll do all-out defense to reroll ones to save. Turn off with the old one. We have three attacks on the profile for our massive jaws, plus one attack because we're coalesced, and a plus one attack for contemplation. Oh, goodness. Hitting Hit on, on twos, twos reroll re ones. ones. Good thing you got the reroll ones. Oh. Even then. Three's to wound. Yeah. Okay. Minus one. And? Five damage each. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Ready for the dance in Matthew, Steve? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Because since these are five damage each. Oh, I only stopped one. Fifteen damage. Right, I'll keep ah! going. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Ah! <laughs> That's three and a half dead just from that. Oh, we'll claw four limbs. We're hitting on twos and then wounding on threes. Uh, no rend on this. How much damage? Two. Okay. Well, that's so up to 17? More. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I got plus one attack on everything. So one more claw four limb. One more. Yeah. 19 damage. <laughs> Uh, these are two damage? Yep. So 19 damage, yeah. And then the Sunstone Spear will be hitting on twos. It'll be wounded on threes. It'll be minus one. How much damage? Three each. Three each? Yeah. Are you, are you just making that up? Wow. I told you, this oh, guy... Oh, that was him. Yeah. The guy was, I'm like, oh, no, one damage. No, no, This guy could do work. So nine damage. Just, yeah, so nine, that's 24 nine, damage yeah. so far. And you're done, right? I'm done. You just killed six of them. Well... And plus one will be, so he has to die. So one, two, three. Uh, I don't need my bravery or my reroll charges anymore because I'm more immune. So that's four or five. So one more has to die. That's the leader. But I'd really like to focus on the. You're not within an inch. Oh, you pile in. Yeah, I can pile in around, which is what I do. Yeah, you know what? He's going to go for them anyway. So that answers my question. So him. And then the guy in the end will be down a wound. Ouch! Hard choice. If I go with my gluttons next and attack your Saurus. You should pull from the back. Yeah, you can pull from the back and you're still going to get the same number of attacks. So I'm not going to reduce the number of attacks. The uh, Huskard is, hasn't charged, so he's not nearly as killy. But I'd, if I can just remove, because you can pile in in such a way that all three Kraxagar can get in, and they're pretty killy. 
So I will focus on the Crocs score, see if I get lucky. Start with his rock hard horns, only four attacks because he's so hurt. Four is to hit. Nah. Three is to wound. Bah. Oh. Could have some saving grace of D6 crushing hoof attacks, but I get three. Three is to hit. At this injury level, he's threes to wound instead of twos, so that's one. Minus one. Oh, oh. Ah, you see, it was only D3 minus one damage anyways. And out of protest, I'll punch and kick you and probably do nothing. Threes and... Well, look at that, I did one. No oh. rend! Oh. Hey, I did it! <laughs> so I only did one damage in total. Not that great. That's the wounded guy and... And this is my leader. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap around here. And then I'll wrap around here. And then I think you see what I'm doing. I know. You're trying to keep him from getting back in coherency. Yeah. So if you just... All you do is make sure you place a guy like this. I know. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, the and next. pop him up. So if you kill two guys, obviously you kill him and then him. Otherwise, it's just going to disappear anyways. I'm immune to battle shock, so yeah, okay. I want one guy to survive and keep you tied up. I don't think I can kill them all, but we'll definitely Well, try. you're going to be able to get a lot in. I think, uh, you're not going to get within three? No. I'm preparing to support next turn. Okay. Well, all right, starting off with the cell site weapons. We're hitting on twos. twos. Re-rolling ones, because yeah. you all out attack. Yeah, all but one. All but two. And threes. That's, Ooh, that's oh, really good. Let's hit the table there. Hit the table. Where? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> and I'll have six up saves against these. Yikes! I think one, two, three and a half. You have you have more attacks, right? Yeah. You've got to do one more damage to me. I'm going to leave the bellower there because he's within three inches of your other guy, and he's got one wound left. Can you do it? Yeah. What? Shields only hitting on fours. Normally hitting on fives. Plus one is recharged. These are shields. Oh, sorry, they're bites. It used to be, used to be bites and shields. Oh, okay. Now, yeah. Turn on fours. Reroll them ones, and then fours. Yeah, you probably got that last wound. Yeah. Six. six more. And you got him. Rut row, I'm in trouble. And then your Croxagors are going to go after the Husk Guard. They all have Drake Bite Mauls. They're hitting on fours. Yeah, they don't Oh, sorry, that. they're hitting on threes, because we're wholly within six inches of a unit of skinks. And they have the skink keyword. The... The Bastilladon thing? Yeah. Nice. And we're wounding on threes. Random damage? One and two. So five up save, re-rolling ones because of all out defense. Does it help me? It did! Look at that. And that's two damage each. Just sure. ignoring fives. Oh, I only take two wounds. I'm down to three. And then their vice like jaws are hitting on threes as well. Sixes do a mortal wound in addition to damage. And then it wounds one so far. on threes. Uh, minus one. So I get a five up, re-rolling ones. So that's one damage each. Well, three ignore, total. Yeah. Ignore the one, and then I also the mortal wound. I ignore a five. That's two more. I have one wound left. But you still have the... The Stilodon. The Stilodon's got to kill him. Three's to hit. Oh, you got him. Three swoon with a bludgeoning tail. Just and, minus one. And how much damage? D3. Ooh. So it's imperative that I stop him with my save of five plus three rolling ones. Okay, so D3 damage. D3 damage. A one. Oh, no. Five plus, Steve. Oh, no. This is a big deal. Oh, no. I want to point out why it's a big deal. Because I need the points. You need to, not just the points, but you need to kill him, get the points, and then take the double turn and go after my lead belt shoes before they shoot you. Yeah. If you don't kill him and you don't get the double turn, then he just retreats away from combat, keeps the objective, and my lead belt shoes go, Bleh! and I take care of your croxagors at the very least. Yeah. And you have a hard time ever getting that objective. Yeah. And no matter what happens over this here. This is a five up, you probably have the game. Yeah. Now, well, not, no, not, not if for you sure. get a double turn, I can still deal with it. Then you can deal with it, but not as nicely as you would have. Because yeah. then you'll have to deal with the lead belchers who could retake the objective. Right. In which case, it kind of cancels out. You take two points, and then I get the two points back. Are you ready for this, Steve? Mm -hmm, All this mm -hmm, build up for mm -hmm. a five up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got him. I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> got to build up the drama. <laughs> You do have a guy within six inches of the objective, so it's yours. Which means you got three points. One Sorry. for the one that you're continuing to hold, and two for the one that you took from me. You definitely don't have this one because he counts as ten, and there's no way you have ten guys Whoops, within six inches of that. And so, still three points, which will bring the score to six to five as we go into battle round three. You ready, Steve? I'm ready. I win ties. I'm just, gonna do, I just can't deal with this. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, you got her. <laughs> okay. Well, that means that it's Ogre Matribes next, which puts Steve in a little bit of trouble. But it's this fight right here that is the hard part. The other side... You're pretty safe over there. Well, I don't have a... Remember, I had the plus one attack because I had the command ability, and I don't have that over there. So it's not as much firepower as last time, but... It's a points game. Let's see what happens. Only thing in my hero phase will be to attempt to cast Voracious Maw, which is just... Trying to do lots of mortal wounds. It needs a seven. I get plus one. And I fail. 
Great. Nice. Movement is quite simple. We're coming on this side of the tyrant. The butcher is going to join him. And then when we swing over to the other side, Blood Belchers, ooh, actually, if these Blood Belchers can't see the cracks of doors, which they can't, they're going to have to move, even though ooh. it makes, loses them some attack. So that makes you a little more survivable because I have to move and these Blood the Belchers yeah. to ensure that I get the objective. Now, this gets me the objective no matter what because my guys count as two models. I think I only have like two on anyway. And you have, Maybe even if you had all four, yeah. it wouldn't matter because I count as six. Nice. Yeah. But as you a got bonus, it. As a bonus, if I can kill the Croxagore, then you won't. It'll be hard for you to take it true, back. True, true. Hard. Shooting phase. I will fire my Ogor pistols at him because it's most important for your source old blood to die. Reasonable. Fours to hit. Threes to wound. And you run? Yeah, minus one. Oh, you got a wound. D three. Oh, ho, ho. But minus no. one. So I need a five or six to do something. Ah, that's oh, two damage. damage. Bring me down to ten. I'll leave it over here because you're gonna be over there in a minute. I will be. We're going to swing over here. I'm going to combine the shots from these lead belchers and these lead belchers because they're just they're not going to kill you in one volley. These are all D3 attacks because they moved. Fours to hit. Not bad. <clears throat> Continuing to roll above average for my lead belchers. Threes to wound. Ah, only three. Okay. This is going to be a five up. And oh, we make two of them. So that wasn't as decisive as I was hoping it was going to be. We got three more. They didn't move, so they're D6 shots each. Fours to hit. Threes to wound. Ugh. Six more. Got that five up. Oh, hey, I forgot, to, I forgot to put a command ability on them, but it didn't matter because I rolled no fours. So it kills one. It's time for some charges. We're going to start with my Husk Guard. Or sorry, my Husk My Frost Lord on Stonehorn. We want to get nice and high here. Ah, uh, six. Uh, I'm tempted to use a command point and re-roll that. But if I roll double, double one, ones. he fails his charge. It's just I want to get more mortal wounds. I'm going to keep that. Yeah, keep it. Okay. He's going to come right here, and I'm going to put it. Ugh. This might be. I, 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 if I overkill him, good problem to have. Good. So, so you six roll dice. Sixes to wound him. Four up to mortal wound. I thought it was four up on them. No, it's because he's a monster. Oh, okay, okay, okay got yeah, it. Yeah, it's not the target. It's the it's the charger. Six dice, four up on mortal wounds, and three, three, three of them. Not terrible. No. Do the butcher next. He'll charge in with a six-inch charge. He's going to come actually this way because if somebody's going to die, I want it to be the butcher. <laughs> he has the same charge ability, but it's only sixes to do mortal wounds. No mortal wounds. And then the tyrant is going to attempt a charge, and he gets six as well. Well, I'm consistent. And then he's going to come over here. Can he roll any sixes? One mortal. Wound. Oh, good. They got to go over here. And I am not going to charge because I think I'd just be handing you my guys. Whereas when you go next, you'll have to kill a group. And then I could possibly run up and grab the objective again. And if I can grab the objective right after you, essentially you netted zero points. Because you gain two, and I gain two. Because right. you get the extra point when you take it. Right. So if you take an objective, you want to keep it. Otherwise, it's just kind of whatever. But you're not going to? Are you charging? I'm not charging is what I'm saying. Because if I charge all those lead belchers in... Those Croc score will probably not die. I think so, yeah. And they'll just kill some of my, my lead belchers. Whereas when you go next, you can only kill one group of them. Or, uh, or you can come this way and kill yeah. two groups, but then you leave the objective. <laughs> exactly. So that's the thing. So I have two command points, so I'm going to spend it on all out attack on my Frost Lord on Huskard. And I'm also going to have my. Um, huh. Wire. Tyrant. Tyrant, thank you. I just all of a sudden was like Thunder Tusk, Thunder Tusk, Thunder Tusk. <laughs> oh! Tyrant oh. is going to reroll once to hit. All right, I'm going to do a lot over here. So I'm going to give both these guys all out defense. Get it back on four pluses. So yeah. you've got two command points left now. All right, I'm going to give them the total account of the charge. Plus one attack, And him as well. Or so plus one to hit. And he gets both those back. Okay. And, and now you can just do all out attack. Uh, no, i got to do more plus ones to hit. Okay. So he has a command ability that gives them plus one to hit. Okay. Your source oh. unit. Nope, okay. you got one command point left. All right, before I continue, uh, I want to do more buffing on hand, but I got one command point left, so I'm going to give these guys all out attack. Reroll ones. Four plus. No, okay. Oh, That's you're all, oh, no. Roll out, roll out. What was that, like seven command points for the it's price some. of three? It's some. That was great. My Frost Lord's going to go first, and I'm going to dedicate everything to killing your old blood. Makes sense. Or old, old, whatever. That guy. We'll start with my Frost Spear, hitting on threes, rerolling ones, thanks to all out attack. Threes to wound. Yeah. Minus one. Minus one. Five of save. 
Oh, you saved it. Let's do my crap punches and kicks. Threes and threes. You ready for this? Yeah, two damage, no rent. Four up. Oh, come on. <laughs> now, the thing that could just one-shot you will be my rock-hard hordes. Hitting on threes because of the mount trait. Three rolling ones because of all out attack. You know, all wounding on threes. Come on. Okay. How much rent? Two? Minus two. Three right, damage a piece after your modifier. Three rolling one. That is 12 damage to you. That kills me. And that's in, that's coming, taking into consideration your minus one damage. Unable to pile in just like that. We'll start off with our little halberds onto the stone horn. We're hitting on twos. Rerolling Re ones because you all have attacked. And threes. Oh, this is pretty good. One run. So four up for my three up. Oh. Steve, your one, dice are hot. One, you can buy one. these dice at shop.miniwargaming.com. No, I need them. Don't sell my dice. And then I ignore these two. Were they just one damage each? One damage each. Five up, I ignore them. Oh, okay. one damage. All right. Then there are chomp attacks. Hitting on threes because I double buffed them. Reroll ones. Reroll re ones. Reroll ones. And fours. Four, three ups, no rent. Okay, no rent. No rent. Three up. And ignore it on a five. Whew, they only did one damage. I'm down to 12. I want to kill the Tyrant, so I'm putting two in the Tyrant, the rest on the Butcher. You have one more that could go on the Tyrant. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah, have, I'll put three in the tyrant. tyrant. So we'll do three and three. Actually, this guy should be a little bit good. Yeah, three, three and four. Three. On to the Tyrant. We're hitting on twos with the Halberds, wounding on... Sorry, we're rolling ones. And then wounding on three. Four. Minus right. one. Minus one, so I got three up on him because that's the trait I chose for him. So four up. Takes two wounds. And then we're going to bite you on threes because we double buffed the uh, bite and fours. Two more. No rend. Yeah, you're not killing him. Three up save. He's down to four wounds. Not yet, anyway. And then into the butcher, the hitting butcher. on twos with the halberd, re rolling ones. And then threes. Are Ooh. they halberds? They are. They look like they're swords or something. Minus one. So six up for him. So three, three good. Damage. Three. And then we're going to bite you on threes and fours. No rend. That's how many wounds I have left. Five Oof. up saves. Got you him. killed him! Wow. I'll take, I'll take anything I can get. You know what? That's good. And yeah, the Butcher can do decent damage. Tyrant here will start off with his Thunder Mace. Three attacks, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. Oh, not bad, not bad. Uh, and threes to wound. Oh, garbage. Any rend? Minus two. We're good. <laughs> I got my Beast Skewer Glaive. Threes to hell. Come on, this is garbage. Threes to wound? No! Is that it? No! Can you bite me? I gotta bite you! <laughs> Gulp! I missed. No, reroll ones! Reroll ones! I missed. Well, that's the turn. Uh, not terrible. Well, you I got, got the this. This is important. And that's the other a big thing deal. is, I held this because I count as 10 models. Yeah, how many do I got in there? Four? It was like one, Maybe two, three, five? four, five, six. It was close. You, you can actually, in your turn, pile in and probably get enough. Yeah. Assuming he doesn't murder half of them. Correct. Yeah. Now, I've got to point out, I made a mistake, tactically or forgetfully. He has the keg artifact. I could have thrown at them and rolled six dice, and each mm. four plus would have been D3 mortal wounds. So, that sucks. Uh, yeah, but... I, I, I could have reduced it. On average, I'd kill four of them. So True. Oh, yeah, because I don't reduce those damages. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. Didn't capitalize on that. Yeah. I'm gonna go try to eat you up. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I can deal with this guy. I don't know. But dice, dice. You, you know don't. What? You don't have the. You don't have the command points anymore to do the super buffs. Because there, you had two plus two to hit. Yes. And a reroll one to yeah. hit. That was three you command points. You're gonna get one command point, and you've lost the guy that can regenerate them. Now. Well, he. Can, yeah. You can get two more, and I guess he could throw them on. He could give the. He could give the plus one to hit for counting as charging. And, and that's about, uh, he might be able to do all out. You might be, you're probably holding well, 18. You're I will likely do good mortal wounds this turn because I'm going to take the uh, configuration or constellation where I just get plus one to cast and I'll plus three to cast. Yeah, and then and just, just do tons of mortal wounds or try to anyway. Yeah, and that could that could solve your problem here because, and the Croxagor not dying means this game is definitely not I over. I think I'm going to kill two of those units this turn. You could, if you can do that and get the objective back. Oh, this is, this is close. This is close. I just scored three more, no, four more points. So the score is 10 to 5. But you take a couple of those objectives and you get five more points and tie up the game. Right. And then we go to turn four. This is close. In my hero phase, I'm going to make my caster another plus one to cast. And can you see in the future? I will get, definitely have one the future. Point. Oh, uh, I have two now. I don't see, think I, that's enough. That's enough. Really do you don't anymore. get to generate new ones for free anymore. 
Yeah. So you've only got two. You uh, know how to handle it with only two? I no, actually, I don't. I felt like you were playing forty k last uh, last turn there. I, I well, like I seven I, command points in one turn. If my spells work now, then I'll feel like I haven't lost too much. But dice are dice. Yes. So I get to put my conf configuration into the slam instead of the monster. Yeah. So you're basically trying to kill. The, if you can kill this stuff over here, you've probably got the game. Yeah. Because then all I have left is over here in the Croxagore. Well, I just want to get a 10 plus on the comments call and say to everybody right now with meteors. Nice. Because that one does D3. It's, well, if I roll 10 plus D6, you know, it's take D3 more wounds. Instead of D3. You know, all the start. Well, let's do it. Yeah. I have no more unbinding. You killed my butcher. I got it. That's an 11. That's D6 it's units. D well, now roll the D6. I know, I know, I know. Ah, uh, three. Oh, okay. Well, well I've got one, one, two, three, four, five units. One. One for sure. Do you want to do the tire? I think I got this. These guys are going to die. The Crocs, of course. Um, okay. Two. One, two. Yep. And I'm going to hit this one. Three. One. Two mortal wounds. Ignore them on fives. No. Ouch. He's down to ten. Two. Two mortal wounds, which he cannot ignore. He's down to two. And lastly, three mortal wounds. Doesn't kill him, but it hurts. Arcane Bolt. Hoping to roll high enough. Yeah, that's a 13. So D3 mortal wounds on him. D6. Oh, D3. No, D3. Wrong game. Wrong game. Oh, wait. Do I want to not there anymore? Why? Want to try to kill him? Does yeah. it matter? Because these guys aren't going to make it to him. So why kill him? Just let them kill him. That's true. I don't know. I'm giving you tactical advice. Well, Five plus. I'm more, I think I'm more giving it to the audience. It's like you got to consider those kind of things. It's like, will these guys be able to do anything? No, then why waste damage. I guess we'll just uh, Mystic Shield these guys? Why not? Yeah. It's more a why than a why not. No, I don't need the command points, actually. So I'm going to spend, I'm going to move up and get, okay, no point. No, not even Mystic Shielding? I did it twice, two games in a row. What? I ignore damage on a 6 plus holy within 12 of my banner. It wouldn't have mattered last turn, but if I remembered, I would have ran him up with the guy. That's true. Ah! Well, bring the banner up now. I'm going to. I'm going to give him Mystic Shield. I get the extra range. You got the extra six inch range because Slan are just like. Yeah. They're pretty awesome spellcasters. Pretty awesome. Oh, you got to roll it first. You Did never, I get you it? never actually oh. rolled it. Cheater. I'm plus three. Yeah, you, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Wait, I can't. A little bit of movement here. Clip clop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be closer than that. Oh, no, no, what a foul. What you, you lose. And the banner and the Slan. Uh, we're going to run both the banner and yeah, the Slan because I just want to get them, you know. Booyah. Close enough to use abilities. Cool. Actually, I better. Shooting. All right, we're putting laser beams here and javelins here because javelins are javelins. Short range. We get the javelins out of the way first on fives. Ooh, and fours. Oh, take that. I love your I love your surprise. What? <laughs> Five up saves. Well, you did one wound. <laughs> and laser, laser beams. beams on. Is it, I forget. It's fours and threes. Threes and fours. Those are the worst ones to remember. Well, go look it up. It's fours and threes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, because it was the same as mine. Minus one. Six up. That's six damage. That kills the two. And brings the other one down to three. We're going to remember their battle shock this time. George. George is bestowed on. And then we're going to send the Rock Scores in. Yeah, they're right. on. What a surprise. We're going to spend both command points, all attack and all defense. Oh, you're not going to give them the automatic plus one to hit? I can't. Why not? Of course I can. I'll command the ability. Guy to, the guy to do it. Oh, I should give them a six shield. That's uh, what I was saying before. Brain fart. I was, for some reason, you were right. I'm sure I knew this too. I was thinking he had to do it. Uh, I, no, he whatever, gets command points whatever. back when he does it. We're just, we don't care about defense. We're going to go all to attack, and then this is about you the killing. coddle. We're going to kill. Yeah, you got to, so he's going to count as charging, so he'll plus one to hit on all his attacks because of the coddles thing. And then all out attack, free roll one to hit. I'm just going to get bodies on if we can. And you probably will be able to get more than 10 guys on the objective. Hopefully. So as long as I don't kill so much between the two of them, we got it. We'll start with these guys right here. Five of them on my tyrant. Or hitting on threes. Yeah, you don't, the you don't have the double plus one. Right. This is the halberd. That's pretty Not good. Not bad, guys. though. Oh, wait, no. Your halberd is threes to hit naturally. Oh, yeah. You're better, guys. Two. So you had one more. Grab one more. Yeah. Guy. It was a more hit. And now it's threes to wound. Ooh. Oh, that sucked. But I've only got two wounds left. I got a four up save after your rend. You got him. Tyrant is dead. Goodbye, tyrant. And halberds into the stone horn. Beat him up. Twos. Rerolling ones. Okay, okay. Threes. Uh, not bad. Five, Five so far. Minus one, so it brings you to a four up. Oh, it's deep. Sorry. Oh, no. I ignored on a five. Okay, I take a wound. Got to do one more to bracket me again. 
I'm gonna bite you. I'm hitting on force is kind of searched. Oh, oh no. no! We roll once. Okay, good, and good, good. Force. Dodges two, but no, no rend. No rend. No rend. Three up. Well, if I don't roll double five, I've lost an attack on my rock hard horns. Oh, I lost an attack. Oh. Still though, Shush. I really spiked those saves. I'm gonna do my lead belchers next, and one will have to go to him. The other two into Cuxbus. Bludgeoning blow. Threes to hit. Booyah! Threes to wound. Mm-hmm. Minus one. Five up! Oh, you keep spiking it. One damage, because damage. it was normally two, down to one. And then I'm going to gulp you on threes and threes. Yeah. No rent. But what are you rolling three dice for? It's only one. Yeah, I <laughs> totally brought one of them down two wounds. And then I'm going to bludgeoning blow your cracks or your stegodon. Threes to hit. Nothing. And I'll bite them. You know. Who tries to bite a stegodon? Like, seriously, guys. Don't just eat anything. We're going to do the Croxigore uh, plus one hit, so with our mauls written on threes. Why are you plus one to hit? Because we're near to a skink unit. Oh, the skink. Yeah. They're like the handlers, right? Right. And? And threes to woo. Oh. Oh. Minus one. Dude. Uh, six up. Are those two damage each? Yes, sir. All right. The objective will be yours. Actually, not yet, but you still have more attacks, right? Yeah. You've got to do three more wounds to take that objective. And we're going to bite you. On? Uh, threes because of the skink. That's a mortal wound in addition. Oh. And? and threes. Uh -oh. oh, minus one. Six up, otherwise it does two damage. Ah, you killed another guy because of the mortal wound. And that gets you the objective, because now it's three on two. We'll just jump into the Stegodon. Normally my frost sword would go next, but we're just going to... Thump through their tail on threes. And threes, minus one. One damage each? Yes, sir. No, D3. Oh. Well, one damage, one damage. One damage each. <laughs> that's what I asked. Well, you still have it, and that's if he doesn't run away, too. All right, Frost Lord, are you ready to kill 39 wounds worth of guys? Oh, the two wounds piece is going to be amazing here. That's awesome. Well, they are 400 points, so. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Start with my Frost Spear, hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. It's two. Minus one. Five save. Re nope. No, you didn't do all defense. Those nope. are three damage down to two damage each, so that's two guys dead right away. Uh, including mm -hmm. one. Two guys dead. Oh. Not two damage, two guys dead. Six. Little crappy punches and kicks. Threes to hit. Threes to wound. No rent. Now, are you wholly within uh, the six up ignoring damage? Oh, crap, I am. Yeah. So, let's, so you got one. That's one more. So you got five in total. So yeah. See if you resurrect those guys. That one. No, but you just. No, it doesn't come oh, back. Uh, you just ignore the wound. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So you're fine. You're fine right where you are. Right, right, right. And then the four rock hard horns. Hitting on threes because of my mount trait. Okay. Wounding on threes. Her. Only two get through. Minus, minus two, right? Minus two, still five damage. Sorry, not five damage. Three. Yeah, so those both get through. So that's three damage normally each, down to two. So that's four more damage. So, you know. I need to ignore two of them. Kill us one more with that. You have to uh, kill the guy that's uh, already injured. I know. Oh, actually. What? I don't care. Yeah, I know. I, I, know, I don't know. care. It doesn't matter. It's all, it's, I'm pulling from the side. <laughs> yeah. D6 crushing hoof attacks. Five of them. Threes to hit. Yeah. And then we're going to be four. Threes to wound at this bracket. <laughs> yeah. Yatsy! Battle Shock, lost two guys. Bravery six, he's fine. Bravery six, lost two guys. He runs. Go ahead and remove him from me. Not that that matters too much. He lost three guys here. Your bravery is eight, and you don't get the positive modifier for having at least ten because Correct. you ignore it. So you roll a six, one more runs, nobody runs. Sorry, you gotta keep a die on him. Yeah. You took this objective, you took that objective, getting you Four. five points Four. in total, bringing the score to ten to ten, yeah. and you obviously win. Because yeah, interestingly. Even, well, I mean, you could. What? You could take this. I, I have trouble getting it from you. No, you yeah, can't. So what if I ah. take it? You just take it right back by killing me. And yeah. what does he do? He has to back out. I know, I know. This is interesting. Like, like, now that he's getting weaker, yeah, no, I'll it's, slowly get him, especially with my my, it's, my this, this is not even, there's not even a chance. Wow. The only chance would be a heck of a lot of bad rolls from you and a heck of a lot of good rolls from so, you. So, like, those of you who watched the Seraphim review, um... Not that long like ago. Three days ago. Three days ago. Already um, changing your mind on some things? Well, no, no, no. I, I, it, it's my, my first impressions were my first impressions, and they were how I felt with the book the first time. But as I said at the end of that video, there's some things I want to try, and I think there are going to be a couple of things. It'll be a completely different play style than you're used to. Let's jump into the post game show and talk about that. Thank you so much for watching. After our post-game discussion, don't forget to check out our next battle report between Steve and Vito in the Mini Wargaming Vault. They will be playing Beasts of Chaos versus the Blades of Corn. Now, if you're not already a Vault member, you can still click the link below and get yourself a seven-day free trial. 
Mini Wargaming Vault members are what drive the channel. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy Wargaming. Uh, I have to say that I really enjoyed that. It was good back and forth. It was, yes. Well, okay, so all your guys doing the two damage really, really lends well into my scaly scan. Ignore one damage. Yeah, you basically, the points cost for my guys probably takes into consideration that they do two damage. Right. You basically have my damage. Yes. So it, it's, it's an ideal matchup for Lisbon, I think. Now, having said that, um, I think that the Beast Claw Raiders on their own could provide you with some problems. Um, just bringing a, a quadruple Stonehorn yeah. list. So I regret not bringing some endless spells, which again will hurt more against Beast Claw Raiders. I've got more mortal wounds at you. Uh, yeah, I. Well, what it, let's let's talk first about the Seraphin. Okay. Um, if you could just spend any amount of money, what would you build? Uh, what okay. list would you? What, what do you want to try out next? Because obviously we're limited in what we have yeah. in our collection, what we can purchase. But if you could have any army within the Seraphin, what would you want to try out? So, I th okay. Stegodons. Thunder. Though though Kodal's Claw here, I think might be the best one. Well, what I just played. No, no, it's what I just played. Right. Close Claw, I think, is going to be the best one. Now I'm starting to see things come together. However, I still like the idea of playing Thunder Lizard and Stegodons become, Stegodons become troop choices or battle line. And you have tons of monsters, with higher strength, and you bring a lot of Bastildons and a lot of Stegodons, and you spend command points to have the Bastildons shoot twice every turn. And do you, do you really have enough command points to do it that often? Well, I, know this, I would. This one was weird in two ways. One, that you had a general who could regenerate command points, which was specific to Quaddle's Claws. Yep. And two, you got ridiculously lucky with how many four pluses you rolled. So, uh, I would, you'd, I'd probably bring a battalion, probably the Thunder Squeak, which is going to bring Stegodons, Angels of the Gods, things you want anyway in that list. As one more command point, I'm going to buy a command point for sure. So I'm going to start the game with two. Uh, the Slant will be in the list for sure, and you're getting probably generated. one more turn. You should be generating one on average yeah. per turn. And then there's d uh, definitely worth bringing an artifact because of the battalion of uh, Lore of Light, Aether Quartz Gem. Every time you spend a command point, five plus you, you gain a command point. Mm. I'm going to do that in this list. Uh, and then, yeah, you, you do a lot of spells and a lot of monsters and just kind of roll through things. However, what I did today, I suspect, is something you're going to see a lot now that I think about it, where you have a Death Star of, uh, it'll be a maximum squad of Sora's Guard. It's 40 to max? I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm going to bet. I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't look. I just bought 20 because we have 20. Did they buy them in fives or tens? Fives. So I bet you it's 30. Okay. I bet you it's 30. Yeah. It's not going to be 20. It could be 40, but it's rarely 40. Well, not if you're yeah. buying them in fives. Yeah. So it's probably 30, but I would max them out and just buff them. And I, I don't like that play style. I don't like that. The buff it's one unit and roll through. don't have a two inch reach. Also realistic too, because I mean, they're going to have four attacks per model. Because you have two bite attacks, two pull arm attacks. So that's I, that's I, a lot. It's, it's, it would be good, but it's just strange that pull arm. You know, if you actually look at this long pull arm with the thing on the end, it wouldn't be like, I don't know, maybe pull arms aren't meant for long range. I'm, well, not, their pull I'm arms not a weapon are, expert. For if, you, if, you, if you look, I know, if you look how theirs are designed, long halves and kind of like a big old axe blade. So they're, yeah, they're, they're short. I guess, I guess it's more. And like, you, have, you have these weird stunty lizard bodies, right? So like, are you really going, it's really cool. Cool. Arm. No, you're going, you're a big head. Oh, my mic fell off. Your mic fell off? You all right? I was over, uh, over having, I was. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, so that's a lot. But the other thing that you played with today that I, th I think could make a really good list too is the Saurus Knights. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So they would, okay. Those hit so hard. Especially with the Especially list that you brought with the plus one a hit on the charge. Getting and the bites feeding more bites and stuff. So I really want, I, what, I, what I haven't you checked. Keep looking over, around the room. Nobody can see what you're looking at. I know, now. I know. Well, that's when my mind works. So I want, the, the battle <laughs> home, the battle home was right there. I want to go grab it right now. Can you grab it? Because I'm very curious is what the, the command ability is on this guy. Um, on the Saurus Scar Veteran on Cold One. So that's basically the, okay, that's not great. the Hero Knight. Six is to hit, uh, two hits. I mean, that could be a bit of a model. No, that's... It could be. How about this guy? Is, is it only on himself or is it on a unit? It's a Saurus Guard. So the, the Saurus Eternity Warden can give Saurus Guard another plus one to hit. Uh, you, already, you can already get that. In the yeah. Way, just by charging. Hold on, so what was this one? It is pick one friendly Saurus unit within 18 inches, fully within 18 inches, and then they get two hits on every six. Yeah. Oh, you it's it's, so it's the same. So I, I had that command ability already on this guy. You killed him right away, though. The Scar oh, Veteran is the same command ability. But he's on the other side of the I was, I was curious if he had something nice to complement it. But I remember that banner's the new ability of ignore damage on six plus. That can help. Yep. So what would you do with the knights then? Like you've, you've already oh. talked about a list with the well, Stilodons and Stegodons. Let's look at max squad for knights. Because you can or, work or knights. Would you, would you build a whole army that's just knights with hero support? Uh, you could. You have or, to. Or could they be battle line? Yeah, they are battle line. 
Swords, Swords Knights or Battle Line if you're Seraphim. Seraphim Army, which obviously. So Swords Guard. Oh, you maxed out 20. So I had a max squad. Still. Still pretty good. So Swords Knights with the, uh, the Swords Scar Veteran and the Swords Old Blood on Carnosaur run around. I mean, they're not the fastest, but not slow. It will 8 inch move. Same as my Ogres. Yeah. But two, they, they have the. Seven attacks per model. You, you, actually, they're the same points cost as the Liberator. When you look at per wound, and the, the and so they so for four hundred points, was it four hundred points? Uh, the, no, that was two hundred points. points. You had ten of them. So two seven, wounds each, four up save. There's seventy attacks in that squad. Yeah, and the and the uh, liberator has the same number of wounds and the save. The liberators reroll ones with their shields if that's what you equip. No, but their damage output on liberators is nothing anywhere near that. The source and knights the were way better. I brought them just because whatever. Way better, happens, right? yeah, way better than I expected. Yeah, way better than I expected. Uh, they lack all any and all rend, but I think the slant can you know pick up the slack on that with his mortal wound tossing abilities. Yeah, and when you're rolling lots of dice, it's not always about the rend; it's about just getting Very so true. many dice out there. Or would I rather have seventy attacks with no rend, or you know twenty attacks with rend one? I'll take the seventy with no rend. Right. Especially when you get them hitting on twos very easily. Well, it's nice to see that already, because you know, I remember when you guys were first reading through the book, you're like, ah, oh, this is much worse, and maybe and it probably is worse than the original Seraphim book, but it's I, nice to see that there's. A few different options. You, you, not just like, well, here's the one thing you do to win. Because, okay, arguably, everything got a nerf. Right. Um, but then you look at the way things start combining together is when they start getting good again. Like, I kind of glossed over the Knights originally because they were so mediocre. They were less than mediocre before. But when you were also, not, when you look at the stats, you're just like, eh. eh. But then you're like, well, if I put them in here and they get plus one attack, and I put them in here and this and gets a plus one attack, and they get put in here when they get charged, well, they get plus one to hit. It's like, oh, the problem that's with a lot of hits that hit reliably. So we had the book immediately, uh, spent a couple hours with it, and, and do the review. You are locked in to, unfortunately, your first impressions. Well, that's and what so we the, call it first impressions. Right. No, but the thing right. is, to, to explain that, so you fully understand, the first thing I did is go look at all the War Scrolls. So when I go to Source Warriors, or sorry, sorry, yeah, Source Warriors, for example, which were very mediocre, or Source Knights, I'm like, eh, the War Scrolls. I'm not, I, I, I developed that opinion. Before I go over to Coddle right. or Coddle's Claw. Well, you can't possibly. You get, can't. You can't consume all the information all at once. And so you have the War Scrolls are a good place to start because sometimes when you're opening up other books like Bone Reapers or Fire Slayers, you'll find that unit where you're like, what? Right. That is just yeah, without but, anything else. Like you look at the Fire Slayers, Hearthguard Berserkers. Yeah, there is the Hermdar and the Lords of the Lodge that make them even better. But on their own, have a hero nearby and they ignore wounds on a four plus. Right. And they have a five up save. And they have two attacks with a two inch range. That's threes and threes minus one. Yeah. Like that's without any buffing is but ridiculous. You powerful. know what? I'll just, I'm just going to play a bunch more games and then we'll see where it goes. And we'll have to have a retrospective yeah. review in a few weeks after you've had a I'm, chance to get I'm excited to do it too. Yeah. And see what the audience says as well. Yeah. Your opinions on what you think will be good for Sarah. Any comments I haven't found yet, I'd love to know. Put it in the comments. Email me directly, stevenmeworming.com. Yeah. I think that's going to be it. So thank you for watching, everybody. Happy Wargaming.